Good morning. Welcome to SunUp. In agriculture, as in any business, the right information can mean the difference between a record year and the last year. Well, this morning, Clinton Griffiths introduces us to an old product that's been updated that will help brief producers get the information they need. Well, Dave, a lot of people look at ranching as maybe a hobby or a lifestyle, but it's also very much so a business. Yeah, and we encourage people to look at it that way if, if income is important, and it is to most people. Even if it's a hobby or lifestyle, uh, a lot of people like to minimize the cost or even realize a little profit from their hobby. So let's talk about the ranch calc and how it can help us manage our herd. Sure. Uh, the ranch calc is, uh, has been around for a long time. It's an Excel-based computer program that was developed uh, back in the early 80s. Uh, recently, um, some of our ag economics professors, Dr. Eric DeVise and Damona Doy, and myself uh, have updated that. And so it should be available uh, on, on the website. They can look at cow calves, they can look at stocker operations. It considers all cash flows and it considers all expenses. And so you get, a producer gets two things out of it. They get an estimate, a forecast of what their profitability will be for the coming year, and a forecast of what their cash flow will look like for the coming year. But save some time to input the data. DeVeast warns producers need to enter specific information to get this much detailed analysis. Yeah, you're gonna need your, your financial records. You're gonna need to know how much money you owe on, on different, uh, different notes. Um, you're gonna need to know inventories. How many cows do you have? How many first calf heifers? How many yearling heifers? How many bulls? Um, you're gonna need to know that information. You're gonna need to know something about your weaning rates and weaning weights. Um, you're gonna need to know at least um, the amount of feeds that you're purchasing and the prices for them in order to, to um, do the analysis. But beyond your existing cattle operation, the program can break down the numbers for whatever operating changes a producer is considering. What producers can do is very quickly go into the program and analyze different production plans that they've got for the coming year. Say they want to expand, they want to retain more heifers, maybe they're looking at doing some, st some stockers this year. And so the program allows them to look at those different options very quickly and get forecasts of, is it gonna be profitable? Is it gonna cash flow? If it doesn't work on paper, it's not gonna work in the real world. And so this gives a chance to test it out on paper, virtual paper, if you will, and see, is this gonna work? We call it a business planning tool, and the business being either cow-calf or stalker enterprise or both. Okay, and so what you do is you enter your current inventory and your current uh, debt situation. In other words, if you borrowed money for the cows or if you have uh, debt uh, against the land, then you would enter all of that information. And then you can look at different scenarios like spring versus fall calving. Uh, you can look at uh, retaining your own replacement heifers compared to uh, selling those heifers and going out and purchasing them somewhere else. And so you just enter all of your uh, inputs, fertilizer, feed, and so on, and then estimate the, the uh, outcome or, or, I'm sorry, income uh, based on cold cattle sales and calf sales. Okay. So it's really just uh, letting you tinker and, and play a little bit with your herd and some, some options that you might have for your, your place. Uh, and, and do it without actually having to go and do it. Yeah, yep. And you can go through some of those different scenarios relatively quickly. And, it, and what it does is it, it thinks about all the things that you and I would forget about, like increased interest on a land loan, for example, uh, maybe depreciation. If you decide to buy a new pickup in the next four or five years, it would go ahead and calculate the depreciation on that new pickup. Things like that that are just hard to keep track of and think about if you're not an accountant and do it every day. Right, so it's really doing a lot of behind the scenes calculations yeah. uh, that you're not even seeing. Yeah, yeah. It's, a, it's just a handy tool to do. So I, I like to think of it as a what if program. Yeah. Uh, how does doing something like this and, and going through all those different options, how is that going to make you a better producer? Well, I think, number one, it forces you to think about all of those inputs uh, that go along with the enterprise that you've chosen. 
And so often when we're just doing a napkin enterprise analysis, you know, we just don't think about all those little things that tend to add up. And so I think that's a real advantage. Uh, you know, the, the other thing is that you can just make some uh, few entry changes and look at two different enterprises. So, you know, some people's operations, their mindset, their skills are better suited to cow-calf enterprise. Some people's uh, resources, skills, and so on are better suited to uh, stalker operation. And, but, but so you can, you can just make some rapid changes and look at buying, stocking a place or a ranch with cow, cows or stalker cattle and, and see how, how, what the bottom line would look like in a hurry. And not have to go through the expense and the time and the <laughs> years of trial and error and trying to figure that out. And maybe some financial heartache. That's right. Well, thanks Dave, sure appreciate it. You bet. Of course, one of the things that Ranch Cow considers is value-added marketing programs. Here to talk about one of those is Doug McKinney. Doug, let's talk about OQBN. How did it look in 2009? 2009, we had four OQBN sales across the state of Oklahoma. With that, we sold about 4,500 head of cattle, sold by 128 producers across the state. Very good, very well attended, very well programmed. Of course, it's a health management program, and that's what we as extension personnel promote. And because of our health management, those cattle seen on average an $8.12 per $100 return or value added. That's real nice. How's the sale looking? I mean, for 10, are we going to have a few more sales? 2010, we're going to have 10 sales across the state. We're looking at numbers to drastically increase. We're looking at the number of producers to drastically increase as well. So things are looking good. So there's going to be a, a lot more opportunities across the state for Oklahoma producers. Okay. Any changes for the program this year? Yes, we have one thing additional to the VAC 45 program, which is our traditional of uh, the program is our base is the health management. Our one thing that we've added this year is an opportunity for producers to agent source their cattle so they can participate in agent source verification which eligibles those cattle or makes those cattle more eligible for the export market and they can do that through the OQBM program. It's an additional fee of four dollars per head and it's not mandatory for to participate in the OQBN but it's definitely an option that producers may want to look at taking advantage of. Something they definitely want to consider then. Absolutely. All right so we've got the sales coming up this fall. Uh, we'll have the dates on the website of course but uh, what do I need to be doing right now as a producer if I'm thinking of maybe one of these programs how do I decide which, which sale, where do I look at, how do I find it? As a producer, we're coming up on Labor Day. We're coming up on the 1st of September really close. This is the time to start thinking about winning as most of these sales start the first week in November and go all the way through the first week in January. So the winning really starts in the month of September and October. So they need to start looking at that winning deadline. That's the first thing to de determine is that winning deadline of that particular sale that producer wants to be involved in. So if you want to go to an OQBN sale that's on November the 3rd, for instance, you may want to look at that winning deadline and make sure you had those cattle weaned by the deadline. That's the number one most critical thing that we have in our sale is that those cattle must be weaned a minimum of 45 days. The second thing you want to take into consideration is start making plans now on your winning strategy. Whether you're going to turn those cattle out on some sort of forage, you're going to do it on a supplemental grain program, have your ducks in a row so to speak so when those cattle come off of those cows you can make that a low stress uh, transition into the weaning phase for those cattle. The third thing is make plans on the vaccine. In the OQBN, we have three vaccination requirements. We have a four-way respiratory viral, a pastoral pneumonia, as well as a clostridial or black leg vaccine that's required. So be making plans right now to have your vaccines on hand so you can get those cattle vaccinated properly. All right, Doug, thank you so much. If you'd like to take a look at those cell dates as well as get contact for each of the, of the cell barns, visit our website, sunup.okstate.edu.